Who we got tonight? Who we got? Who am I talking to tonight? Oh, uh, I'm talking to John. John, you know who I'm talking to tonight? The soon to be honorable Eric Adams. Yes. The mayor elect of New York, New York City. City. In the house. Greatest city in the world. Yes, indeed. And Dwayne Wade is here tonight. Oh, yeah. NBA champion, Dwayne Wade. Three time NBA champ. I, you know, you know what I did once? You've seen, you've seen when I, how I smoked Obama in that oh, I see waste paper, paper basketball. Yeah. I want to challenge him. I want to challenge Dwayne Wade oh, a little waste paper goodness. basketball right here. Ooh. Yeah. Well, place your bets now. You Place your bets. Putting the championship on place the line. Place your bets now. I just want to say, and I don't want to like yeah. say anything, I, I beat Obama. Uh-huh. I beat, I beat Steph Curry, or tied Steph Curry. It's tied Steph Curry. I beat Dr. J. And I beat Allen Iverson. Oh. I'm just saying. You gonna put your title on the line. This is, every night I put the title on the there line, my friend. Let's go. What's new? Hey, I want to ask you about something. We were talking about the, the Asian-American uh, Muppet who's joining uh, yes. the cast of Sesame Street for the first yes. time. I found out somebody else is joining the cast of Sesame Street. What are you doing over uh, on Sesame Street, John? I'm going over to Sesame Street and I'm singing some songs with all my friends over there. Wow. Can you what tell an me how to get? That's a milestone. I know. I, I, I'm really so, so grateful. I've watched it since I was a kid and I always dreamed of being there. You go there and it's just so much like what you remembered it, in person, which is it, it's just so emotional to be so there. So you've been there? Yes. You've been there. At this point, can you tell me how to get? <laughs> Yes. How to get to Sesame Street? Yes. We can't play the rest of it. No, we can't because... <laughs> because because they, have, they have Muppet lawyers, too. That's right. That's right. They don't mess around. But you know the rest. Folks, I spend a lot of time right over there, night after night, actually, carefully selecting for you the day's newsiest, most aerodynamic headlines, stress testing the most topical anti-lock brakes and power steering, painstakingly stitching leather seating so soft it would make J.D. Power and her associates blush <laughs> to create the luxury sedan that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I lurch to consciousness in the back of an abandoned school bus and slap myself awake with a crusty floor mat before using a mouse-bitten timing belt to strap some old plywood to a couple of discarded oil drums, then by the light of a heathen moon, render a gas tank out of an empty big gulp, fill it with white claw and denatured alcohol, then light a match and let her rip in the demented one-man soapbox derby of news that is my segment. <laughs> This will this will soothe you. This will fix everything. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the UK, police found 900 pounds of cocaine in a shipment of onion rings. <laughs> so, are you telling me they took a highly addictive substance and used it to smuggle cocaine? <laughs> Meanwhile. A small but growing number of churches across America are accepting online donations in cryptocurrencies. <laughs> wow! They're getting really desperate to appeal to the youth. Hey, kids, have you heard about the coolest cryptocurrency of all? It's called salvation. <laughs> You're gonna want to get it on the ground floor, dog. <laughs> Meanwhile, with a once-in-a-century global pandemic and failed climate talks in the news, it's easy to feel like it's the end time. So I just want to take a second to reassure everyone that a plague of scorpions has reigned <laughs> on Egypt. Sounds awful. Also, pretty exciting day for the guy who does weather on the ones. <laughs> Meanwhile, we here at Meanwhile Global Arms Manufacturing and Illegal Chemical Disposal sometimes come across so many pee-related stories that they trickle into our Meanwhile sub-segment, <laughs> Urinewile. <laughs> Urinewile, the Welcome to Rockville Music Festival was in Daytona Beach last weekend, and during a set from a band called Brass Against, singer Sophia Urista pulled down her pants and peed on a fan. <laughs> in other words, the least gross story to come out of Daytona Beach. <laughs> Urinewile. In a new interview, Dwayne The Rock Johnson revealed why he pees in water bottles during workouts. It's all in preparation for his upcoming role, Jumanji 3, Amazon employee. <laughs> also, because they don't, they don't get bathroom breaks. 
Also, Dwayne, if you're peeing in bottles, I don't think anyone in the gym is focused on the why so much as the what the hell. <laughs> but he insisted on explaining. I do pee in my water bottles, but let me give context to that. No. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> no. Meanwhile, Domino's Pizza CEO Don Meh <laughs> bought a $20.9 million smart Bel Air mansion with eight bedrooms and 15 bathrooms. Now, that sounds like an extreme bathroom to bedroom ratio, <laughs> but you eventually need all of them if you eat enough Domino's. <laughs> Forget the plunger, this bathroom's total. Just brick over the door and let us never speak of it again. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, a new company in Las Vegas charters jets to nowhere for horny mile-high clubbers. <laughs> and you felt bad for Southwest flight attendants. <laughs> the seatbacks and trade tables aren't the only things in the upright position. <laughs> the company is called Love Cloud Vegas, and for just $995, couples can charter a jet for 45 minutes. That's right. For $1,000, you can experience sex on a private jet then awkwardly stare out the window for the next 43 and a half minutes. <laughs> we'll be right back with New York City Mayor-elect Eric Adams. <laughs>